and that much makes sense. This early amount of pressure out of Delirium, generally enough to keep the control deck off balance. Certainly before the combo, this was a matchup in Delirium's favor. And players shaking hands, and we will begin for Brennan starting on Traverse the Ulfenvault. Still does play three of that card. Um, it's not that much of a Delirium deck, though. There's nothing like Grapple to the Past uh, with the Past in here. Mm -hmm. So Decanio's plan is going to be to come out of the gates very quickly. He wants to have turn two Winding Constrictor. Uh, that's best case scenario, and just kind of curve out from there all the way up to Verdris yeah. Gear Hulk. His two-drop is Grim Flare. It was dodged a shock. It was Spire Bluff Canal from Nathaniel Black. Yeah, Nathaniel actually has three main deck copies of Shock. We'll see if he has Harness Lightning. Yeah, Port Town showing a basic for Black. And does he have the kills? Well, he does. It's Harness Lightning. So he'll get one energy to spare, spends two of it to kill the Grim Flare. And go back to Decandio. Draws Fatal Push. You see he's got both Tireless Tracker and Green Gear Hulk in his hand. He'll just play the Tracker out. So Nathaniel has a window to kill it before it makes any, before it does any investigating. He's already checked Nathaniel for Shock. So, so Shock's not there, yeah. Knows that's not there. We need to be another Harness Lightning. And casting it this turn gets under Disallow. Oh, wow. How good is this? It actually just resolves, and Nathaniel passes back. Brennan then draws Evolving Wilds for the turn. So it's not just one chance to investigate. It's going to be two. Yeah. Uh, and Decandio, the way he navigated this, he played around Disallow, which Nathaniel now potentially has access to. So this is great for Brennan. Yeah, he did not have a fourth land in hand either. He had to draw it, and what a land to draw here. So he's got Ruinous Path, Fatal Push, Mindrack Demon, and Verderous Gear Hulk as his remaining cards. He'll attack with Tracker. He'll crack a clue, making it into a 4-3 and draw a card. You know, we haven't seen that much Tireless Tracker in Standard or at least we didn't when like it was blue white and emrakuls but this card's great it was frequently in the 75 of the controlling delirium decks uh, yeah typically a sideboard card there but the card is just excellent exactly i think that's what i mean it, you know it was a sideboard card it was it wasn't the focal point like it was in the previous like previous standards mm -hmm. yeah a lot of the games were just about emrakul and gideon and tireless trackers not terribly relevant when the game is about either of those things. So Nathaniel takes four. He goes for an anticipate on end step. Brendan will crack a clue before Nathaniel finds anything like a shock. So he gets to investigate again. Go back to Nathaniel Black. Needle Spires. It actually can be pretty difficult for Nathaniel to get Tireless Tracker off the table once it starts getting very large. He's got you know, his removal cells are Harness Lightnings and Shocks They're, and Oath of Chandra. That's not, they don't do that very well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Brennan draws, gets another land hissing Quagmire. So it gets to let, let the investigations continue. He'll play it, get another clue. Swing for four. And four more damage comes in. Nathaniel down to 12. This Ahead is on great. the board, it's got a reasonable clock, drawing a bunch of cards. Yeah. This is a very good spot for Brennan. He's going to try to up the clock with Mindrack Demon. There is Disallow Mana up for Nathaniel. I would, I would kill that one. I would, I would counter that. <laughs> you can, just, yeah. Revolutionary Rebuff from Nathaniel Black. Okay. Two of in the main. Plays land five. So keeps the Demon off the board. Can he deal with the tracker? Harness lightning on Tyler's tracker. Yes, he can. Has to spend all just those three energy. So now the board is clean, and Nathaniel has disallow up. And the way that Decandio navigated, as you see, he has two clues. He could have played around harness lightning, but just not casting mind rack demon. Yeah. Uh, he he has uh, he can conclude that Nathaniel had a top deck harness lightning. Yeah, it he, didn't happen the previous turn. Right. He did leave himself a little bit vulnerable though. Plays Walking Ballista just on one. And he says go. He had a sixth land here, but just, oh, he's going to see if it gets countered. It gets disallowed. Okay. Now he plays land six. Uh, no play. You see, he could have hit with a Quagmire, but now Brennan is respecting the combo. Doesn't do that. Yep. Says go. What he can do is on end step is crack some clues. Yeah. Draw one. Will he draw two? 
Yeah, cracking the clues just seems more relevant than the two damage here. Yeah, draws a winding constrictor off the first card. Yeah, I'll crack another clue. Let's do that. And then untap. Not a bad turn for Candio. He's now up to a six card hand. Tireless tracker. And eventually investigated three times, and Brennan has converted on all three clues. Kind of speaking to that black green where it actually feels like it has stronger card advantage than the Jeskai deck at times. Yeah, getting that tireless tracker out early, that was great for DeCandio. And now I think it's interesting to see what he tries to leave up. He has green gear hulk, fatal push, winding constrictor, a forest, ruinous path. It might be grasp. That Without grasp, he doesn't have a way to trigger... Revolt. He, the, he's kind of cold to the combo as it stands. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for him to revolt with that fatal push, especially with that walking ballista being countered. Yeah. Uh, that card is going to be it's going to be difficult for him to convert it for any value at all in this match. A winding constrictor, and then just pass and look at the pressure that this Jeskai combo does. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that Brennan had to worry about a combo, you know, he would, could have played Green Gear Hulk with these five lands. Yep. So Glimmer ends up by Nathaniel, and then he draws. Gets an Aether Hub. And just passes. Seven lands now, four cards in hand for Nathaniel Black. Got some Torrential Gear Hulk mana hanging out. Yeah, right, that's the scary part. Now, Nathaniel creates so much pressure without doing anything, right? Brennan's not playing creatures because of the combo. Like, he might not even attack, because if he attacks Gear Hulk, like, flashes Black Glimmer, blocks Constrictor. Like, this is bad. Yeah. But here's something that's good. Uh, Rishkar, the play for Brennan. Does it resolve? We will see. Glimmer of Genius in response to Rishkar. It's a little sigh of relief for Brennan here that Nathaniel did not torrential gear hulk and disallow. Yeah. Of course, he's drawing a lot of cards. Does it resolve? Scry's top bottom. And now here's the disallow. No to the Rishkar. Swing for two, Nathaniel's at 10. But, but once again, like, Brendan can't follow up, right? Because he might die if he does. Mm -hmm. So two damage, he has Nathaniel at 10. Another disallow drawn by Black. In for DeCandio, he has Ruinous Path in his hand. A little unfortunate that it's not to the slaughter. Yeah, Ruinous Path's not going to do much. He, he does have um, a grasp. You see Oath of Jace from Nathaniel. But if Brennan waits too long, eventually Nathaniel will have enough mana to just go for the combo with Negate backup, right? Right. And he can't. He's getting a lot of looks, too. Yeah. Oath of Jace, draw three, discard two. Discards two lands. That's pretty great. Plays Wandering Fumarole. You know, we saw this out of the decks before, especially Tyler Hill's top eight deck. Um, Oath of Jace, a great target for Felidar Guardian in these decks. Mm -hmm. If I was the Candio, I think I would be jamming that Verderous Gear Hulk on this turn. Yeah, he has enough mana to play Gear Hulk and leave up Grasp. So he'll try for Gear Hulk, but Nathaniel's not going to allow that either. That's a bummer. So Nathaniel has disallowed Brennan's last three threats as he goes down to eight. Let's walk, walking Ballista. Then it was Rishkar, now it was Gear Hulk. Mm -hmm. Brennan's just not landing anything. But he's got two damage, right? Down to eight. It's four four turns. And a Felidar Guardian from Nathaniel, maybe. That could <laughs> flicker the Jace, the Oath of Jace. Just so many options. It's a combo. Well, just Nathaniel has so much more mana to work with, right? Because of this fact that, you know, the fact that he registered Jeskai cards means that Brennan kind of has been double stone rained this whole game. Yep. So Oath, Felder Guardian enters the battlefield, flickers Oath of Jace, and Nathaniel will draw three, discard two again. It's more so that the interactive part of his deck is quite good against DeCandio's strategy. Uh, he's just casting a bunch of creatures that uh, don't generate value. They're, they're quite powerful, they're good rates, but uh, the Tireless Tracker was the only one that Ooh. had significant consequence. Nathaniel discarding an Anticipate with a land? That's, if he's discarding Anticipates, I'm really worried from Brennan's side. I think I see a Masterpiece Gear Hulk in Nathaniel's hand. But that's great. <laughs> I mean, if they're discarding Anticipate, right? Nathaniel's been untapping with, like, that card's just amazing here. It means that he has, there's nothing really he's looking for anymore. Yeah. Got 
got three cards. Yeah. I'm happy with all of them. <laughs> yeah. Another windy constrictor drawn from Decandio. Give me the best card of the yeah. top three of my deck. This one's probably better. Brennan did use Grasp to take down the Guardian as he now hits Nathaniel down to six. Brennan then plays Mindrack Demon. In response, there will be a Glimmer. Leaving up three, it's Fatal Push, Ruinous Path, Noose Constrictor, or Winding Constrictor. There's actually, Brennan doesn't, Brennan is cold. Yeah. Right, Fatal Push doesn't, doesn't answer the, well, the combo. Uh, Nathaniel also has in the game this hand. Yeah, okay, so, and maybe Brennan knows that at this point, where it's like, yeah, he probably will negate it. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Uh, casting the demon gives him lethal attackers on the following turn. Exactly. Nine energy, though, for Nathaniel, so a harnessed lightning is certainly a kill spell. He's got a blue gear hulk, so he could... I think he'd like to blue gear hulk into glimmer, but he could do it into harness lightning, kill the demon. Mm -hmm. Things are fine. Plenty of energy in the reserve. Yeah. Absolutely. Three mana from Nathaniel. Is he going to play Sahili Rai? He will. That's kind of a win for Brennan. Now that Ruinous Path in his hand has a target. Yeah. So I got a question for you. I'm kind of into a play here far more aggressive than what Nathaniel plays. Like, if you want to play Sahili, we could just play Blue Gear Hulk, Harness Lightning the guy, copy Blue Gear Hulk, cast Glimmer, five him, say go. Sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I know we're doing this tempo deck, but why not just clock him in the face? Like, that's so many cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Brennan comes back from that. Leaping up Gear Hulk is pretty powerful because he has access to Glimmer of Genius if Brennan does nothing uh, or Disallow. Of course, he's not going to be able to leverage the Disallow given that Decanio can just make a lethal attack before he has to cast any spells. If Brennan's play here is Awakened, is Land and then Awakened Ruinous Path, this is actually a tight spot for Nathaniel. Yeah, he doesn't have the mana to cast Negate and Gear Hulk, so he has to Gear Hulk disallow that. Right, and then he goes to two. Yeah. Or loses his Sahili, neither of which I'm that into. A swing with both. If Brennan doesn't do that pre-combat, though, Gear Hulk... I mean, Brennan's got to assume there's a Gear Hulk here, right? Well, if Brennan attacks with both, he forces the Gear Hulk to be cast then and there. Right. Um, of course, it's going to eat up his entire team. And I like this. So he does, he just swings the demon, and that still forces the Gear Hulk, but Brennan gets to keep his snake, mm -hmm. which is really nice. So flashback, casts the Harness Lightning for free, Mind Rack Demon down, 5 6 in play. And now Brennan can just awaken that ruinous path if he wants. Yeah. 5 6 is really good here, though. It's got to find a way yeah, through that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't. I didn't necessarily specify what we have to wa awaken the Runa's path on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Leaving yourself dead to fellow Dark Guardian does not seem Love great. It. But even just Guardian on Gear Hulk is really powerful. Awaken Runa's path on Torrential Gear Hulk and says go. It was on uh, the Sahili. Oh, it's on Sahili. So now Nathaniel untapping with Torrential Gear Hulk. It's looking like uh, the players are checking in the number of plus one, plus one counters on the land here. Yeah, yeah, they're reading how Awaken interacts with Winding Constrictor. Yeah. So I think it only hits creatures and artifacts, and it was not a creature. It's not, a, yeah, so this yet. is interesting. It's not a, yeah, we're going to, it's creatures, artifacts, and players. Yeah. So a land is none of those things. So the land is only a 4-4 because when it was targeted, it wasn't, like, and then you have to read the way. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what the judge rules yeah. here because I don't, you know, it depends like exactly on the awarding on Awaken. Like, the judge rules it is a 4 4. Yeah, this, okay. uh, this is not my department. This, I, is, this is where I call a judge. <laughs> like, unfortunately, we have one right here. So <laughs> he says it's a 4 4, not a 5 5. All right. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. And even if it was a 5 5, does not make a significant five, six, difference with yeah. the numbers happening. There's a 5 6 torrential gear hulk, and Nathal Nathaniel is on 6. Nathaniel getting getting in some attacks here. Gear hulk's going to deal 5 to put Brennan to 14. Hmm. Are we looking at a fumigate? or? It smells like a fumigate. It's just another harness lightning. Harness lightning on the forest. He does have fumarole as a blocker for the constrictor. Yeah, I guess so. And he looks like his hand, he's got a negate. Yeah, he's able to activate the Fumeral and leave up Negate Mana. I think it's Negate Shock. 
I, I do want to back up here. If Nathaniel's hand is negate shock, like, I really don't like how that last turn was played. Um, between Sahili and Blue Gear Hulk, there was the opportunity to get a lot. Like, Nathaniel's low on cards here, and I don't think he really had to be based on what he had. Yeah. I definitely, anytime you have the opportunity to Gear Hulk Glimmer of Genius, I try to skew my play towards making that happen. Right, like I said, the, instead of leaving up mana, the play before of Gear Hulk. Anyway, he could have had, he could have had double Gear Hulks, maybe he had everything. Yeah. So we see an attack here. It's going to be a activation of Fumarole by Nathaniel. Then Brennan fatal pushes. Nathaniel negates the fatal push. Brennan still has a grasp. He's going to grasp away the Fumarole. And now, is it lethal? No. Shock on the creature land. But two damage off the snake puts Nathaniel to four. Br Nathaniel also now out of cards. Brennan only has one. Mm -hmm. And that was Brennan's only quagmire. And there is a needle spires on Nathaniel's side. You got to watch out the race here. You know, four off the spires, five off the gear hulk. Nathaniel actually wins the race as it stands. You know, nine, then two, then nine. Game over. A Verdurous Gear Hulk or a Rishkar would be lethal for Brennan. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> or a, or a Ruinous Path or <laughs> a or a Traverse or a he's got a or, lot a, or a Walking Ballista. Got a lot a, of good yeah, draws. Yeah. <laughs> but here's an activation. Nine damage. Brennan goes to five. Can he hit one of those draws? Um, uh, is that a Rishkar? It is. In oh, yeah. It's a Rishkar. Counters ooh. on both. That looks like a four five. Does Daniel? Oh, no. Does he have? Actually, he's trying to put counters on things. But hold on. Hold on. Here's the ooh. last Harness Lightning in response. That'll do it. And Brennan's last card's another, another snake. Yeah. Uh, he could have. I guess he would have had a four four instead of a three three. That's not that different. Yeah. Well, he attacks out of lethal as Turner as not, and he's not going to make it big enough yeah. to engage in combat favorably with the Torrential Gear Hulk. You're right that the sequencing is not optimized. It doesn't change anything, though. Brennan's still playing fine. Now, now Brennan down to five. He's going to have to block that Gear Hulk. Oath of Chandra, the draw from Nathaniel. That's huge. Snake down. Here comes Needle Spires. Gear Hulk has to be blocked. So, down to one. Brennan will go. He blocks the five, six. Bins. The legend, he's at one. I don't think he has a four-point burn spell, and he does not. Nathaniel Black takes the first game. Would have needed that second copy of Ruinous Path. Uh, his outs were much slimmer on that draw step. Yeah, it was the just Ruinous Path. Yeah. Interesting. If, if his outs just Ruinous Path, is it is it right for Nathaniel to just leave back the Needle Spires then? Yeah, I think so. It, it, it That's attacked, weird, right? The but, Gear Hulk kills him or it doesn't. Like, making a two-turn clock with the Spires when your opponent is chump blocking doesn't really matter. I think when you have the Abyss active, I would just leave the land up. Yeah, so then if he ruins Paths and Awakens, then you activate Spires, trade Spires with the 4-4, and, like, life goes on. Yeah. I think I agree. I mean, by not doing that, that means that Brennan can, like, draw creatures. And yeah. It's, it's a, hard to it, say. It's yeah. a very slim thing. All right, but game one goes to Nathaniel Black uh, trying to... Brennan has had very few losses with this Delirium deck. Um, but let's look at the sideboard. So this is a matchup that Brennan was confident in last weekend. Um, two Lost Legacy, two Natural State, two To the Slaughter, two Yeheni's Expertise, and then one ofs. Fatal Push, Ishkana, Kalidus, Nissa, Noxious Gearhulk, Obnixless, and a third Tireless Tracker. So he's definitely expecting the game to go long. It's a combo deck, but it's also a control deck. So you want this Tireless Tracker for sure. I assume that we're going for the Planeswalkers, both Nissa and Obnixless, just as a way to play the game if it's fair and it's going long. That all seems great. To the Slaughter is a great piece of interaction for the combo, yeah. or it just gets Torrential Gearhawk off the table. That card's great. Uh, presumably, Brendan's going to bring in Lost Legacy. Uh, there's some interesting things with what to name, because Black won't necessarily have the combo or all of the combo in both sideboards. So the Lost Legacy can be a little bit dicey, and unfortunately you can't just name Torrential Gear Hulk. I, but I assume if it's in his sideboard, it's coming in here, right? Like, this yeah. is the matchup he put it in his deck for. Right, yeah. Um, it, it, it is curious yeah. what gets named, though. Yeah, I mean, if he could have gotten the Felidar Guardians out of Nathaniel's deck, he could have played that last game way more aggressively. True. So there's an advantage there. On Nathaniel's black side, he's got a play set of Spell Quellers, and then some two ofs. Dispel, uh, Fumigate. That is Fumigate's numbers two and three. So he boards from one up to three. Two Negates, two Radiant Flames, a Decommission, a Quarantine Field, and a Shock. All the sweepers seem quite strong. Fumigate, Radiant Flames, these are all quite good. You have to be able to deal with Winding Constrictor. 
Uh, so radium flame seems great. Shock is at a weird rate for this matchup. Uh, there's a lot of three toughness things happening. It, you hope it hits a Grim Flayer on turns before right. he has Delirium, and then it gets bad. Yeah, I think I want some number of Shock in my deck, but the full four seems a little much. The window for that card being good is so small. Right. It, it, I guess it kills creature lands, right? It kills the Quagmire. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think I probably yeah. want to board one of my shocks out instead of bringing an extra one in. Um, that's pretty much what we have going on. And the quarantine field is a clean answer to any large creature. Okay, so we are actually underway for game two here. Uh, Brennan DeCandio is on the play. He has a turn two Grim Flare on the play. And Nathaniel actually with no response at all, no shock on turn one, no like end step shock, no turn two harness lightning. It's looking like Brennan might get a hit in. That'd be great. So he traverses before attacking. We've seen that one. Hits with Grim Flare, Nathaniel to 18, Brennan. Top three can rearrange. Tireless Tracker, Swamp. Looks like to the slaughter. He's got Sorcery, Land in Graveyard. He could make his creature a 4-4 immediately. That's what he'll do. Grim Flare now out of range of some of that removal. And he'll play another. <laughs> he'll play another. Uh, this is making Nathaniel's turn to anticipate look really bad. Yes. Like, you're, <laughs> Brennan's playing 4 Force for 2. Nathaniel is playing a cantrip. Right. And now if he brought in Radiant Flames, that it's just not doesn't even good. do anything. Plays Inspiring Vantage. Brennan might just run him out of the building on this one. Land four, swing for eight, Nathaniel to ten. Gross. Odds are Brennan's next draw step is going to be a good card. Just throwing that yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best of the top six. <laughs> you know, I don't like four fours in my decks, but when they come attached to, like, card deck manipulation, I, I can get behind that, you know. If I have to play a creature, I'd, I'd like it to do this. Yes. And he kept all three cards. <laughs> he kept all three. So he goes for a, a snake. Nathaniel spell calls it, but then Brennan plays the walking ballista. Spell Queller, that 2-3, it's not looking great at the moment. Nathaniel, fourth land, passes. I'm a bit surprised to see Queller come in in this matchup. It doesn't size oh. up especially w uh, well against what Brennan is up to in terms of combat. Uh, and it's likely that Brennan is leaving in some number of removal spells. Uh, so a swing for eight from Brennan, a glimmer of genius from Nathaniel. There's a green gear oak in Brennan's hand. I think he's going to kill him this turn. In fact, I'm sure of it, because he's taking at least five. Brennan can put all the one-one counters on the ballista and shoot Nathaniel for the last five. That like, seems, he's dead. Turn five, going to kill you. Pretty good. Yep. Game. Game. Brennan. Boom. Evens it up. All right. <laughs> Nathaniel's going to have to do better than that. So how about that anticipate card? Oh, Okay. Okay, that was some messed up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like we were looking at these just like a moment ago. Um, <laughs> you know, Spell Queller and Radiant Flames, we're talking about how those are out of the board for Nathaniel. Those would not help him there. Into going into game three, the Radiant Flames on the play, that's generally going to be pretty good. I'm really surprised that Spell Queller came in here. I don't think it matches well, up really on any level. The problem is that as a, as a creature, as a 2-3 creature, it's, like, not relevant. So it's, like, bad disallow, right? The it's best, disallow that gives them their stuff back. The best thing it's doing is bouncing off a Winding Constrictor. Our right, players are going to get ready for game number three. Over at Star City Games, Ufos, we have our versus videos, both in standard playtesting and, of course, our Commander edition. So for Magic the Gathering, we had the Commander 2016 edition. We have both those decks and sets of five now available for order on the Star City Games website. You can also get our new Commander versus series playmats. So that whole collection is now available for order over at StarCityGames.com slash Commander 2016. like those playmats. They're nice and clean. Get your hands on those. So seven's here, Nathaniel back on the play. Maybe he it always feels so bad when you work when you work so hard for game one and then you drop game two in like two minutes. You're just like, man. Okay. Guess we gave that back. <laughs> so, no mulligans. We're sevens here for the third to final game. Nathaniel no plays on the first two turns, but uh 
Brennan, a, a little more calm of a start here. Yeah. The fact that both of his lands are hissing Quagmire is relevant. Yeah, that could show up in the later game for sure. And the Marsh, he'll go Lost Legacy on turn three. Spell Queller from Nathaniel. He would like to keep his combo in the deck, at least for now. Mm -hmm. Now, you, I would think the Legacy will resolve at some point here. Um, you know, odds are that Brennan can, can kill this. Yes. Aether Hub for Nathaniel Black and attack for two puts Brennan to 18. Leaves up four. So counter spells are there. It's really interesting that an instant speed removal spell allows Brennan to have a little bit of control over Nathaniel's draw step. If you kill a spell queller after he draws this card, you can potentially name the card that he drew. Unfortunately, with Lost Legacy, it does replace itself. So Brennan passes the turn. If Nathaniel went for an end step glimmer, Brennan was going to go ahead and to the slaughter. Instead, he to the slaughters on Nathaniel's upkeep. And this is neat. What happens is that Nathaniel quells that and attacks for two. And the thing about having two spell quellers, one of them with a removal spell under it, mm -hmm. one removal spell just breaks that all up. Unless it's another to the slaughter, which in this case it is. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he'll get the wrong one. But right, like a grasp of darkness here counts double. Yeah. Got to find it. Looks like he has a green gear all. Could just cast that. Yeah. Tireless Tracker as well. Actually, Nissa Vital Force in Brennan's hand. That's something that came out of the sideboard here. It's going to be really tough for Nathaniel to deal with uh, Vergerous Gear Hulk here. Uh, you know, you can't counter that re with Revolutionary Rebuff because it's an artifact. Yeah, there's not like. Doesn't have, he only has one energy in his pool. I guess he can, he can harness lightning it uh, if he has it right now with the trigger on the stack. That would actually be fine. Yes. And you guys play four, so that would, that's the answer. You know, there's no, like, disdainful stroke style card. Brennan looking at a lot of things. He can play Mind Rack Demon. He can play Green Gear Hulk. He can play Tracker plus Land. He goes for Gear Hulk. Going to be make the most mana efficient play. But Nathaniel, no, Ooh. no Harness Lightning. It's Anticipate. Tap that mana. It looked like Harness Lightning, and this is really good for Decandio. Yeah, he's going to get an 8-8. Eight, eight. Pretty much uh, outs for black here involve, involve casting another spell that generates energy and then having Harness Lightning or fumigating away both of his creatures. Yeah, he does not have any copies of Nahiri in his 75, so he can't just have a you know, take eight and clean answer. He does play a six land, attacks. Brennan took the shields down for a combo, but Nathaniel doesn't have it. Another Anticipate, that's what he does have. Finds Disallow, Shock, and something else. And he's going to take the something else. So we'll find out about it when you do. Looks like a third Spell Queller. All right, I, I can see that line working out. Yeah, that's good in multiples. Uh-oh, Grasp of Darkness from Brennan. We talked about how one of these could really be problematic. It's a swing for eight to put Nathaniel down to 12. All right, so you said Brennan, he has two to the slaughter. And I like grab. the idea of leading with the two to the slaughter. See if Nathaniel bites and then just wreck him with Grasp. So, if, yeah, if he plays to the slaughter and Nathaniel spell quells, then the grasp is, is, so, is so bad. <laughs> it kills everything. Yeah. So we'll untap. Nathaniel, no plays from Brennan. Bit of a chess match with these instants. Upkeep. Is Brennan going to make a play? He, he, you and two think alike. It's going to lead unto the slaughter. He's a smart dude. Spell queller. All right. Yeah, Brennan's like, that's fine. Do I get to do I get to just demolish you now? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Grasp of darkness. Is there a counter? No. It's not so to the slaughter he plays it. Yeah, Nathaniel gets to keep one queller. Mm -hmm. So Brennan very smartly here, he grasped the non-summoning six spell queller. Yep. That's pretty solid. So Lost Legacy's the cast. We'll see what Brennan who Brennan picks and what he picks. This is actually interesting. Early on, I think he would have tried to get the combo. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, he's looking at the graveyard. There's a lot of options here for Brennan. And name a non-artifact, non-land card. Search a target player for that card. Oh, wow. Is that uh, Torrential Gear Hulk in the middle in the handle hand? He just didn't draw a disallow, so he had to play Spell Queller over that. That's really unfortunate. That was the card he took, yeah. And Sahili Rai was the name. 
Uh, looks like Brent Nathaniel has kept in three of the copies of the Planeswalker. None of them were in his hand, so they'll just be exiled. No card draw for Nathaniel. And no real way to answer the Gear Hulk either. Mm -hmm. Now, that 8-8 eight eight is, is quite large. No, he has two red removal spells that still leave him three points short yeah. of beating up the Gear Hulk. Just draws a card, says go. Then you can't attack with that one because he played it during the upkeep. Yep. Nathaniel drew something blue. I think ideally it would be a disallow. But now, Brennan, Nissa, Ooh. Vital Force. Let's. You didn't have a counter spell then. Let's see if you drew it. No. I will so, attack you for 100. How about for 12, 13? 13? How about lethal? Jeez. This this came out of nowhere. This Nissa does not give the land trample, but Verdris Gearhulk does have trample. And s with the Sahili's out of Nathaniel's deck, Brennan can freely make this play because there's no danger of being killed. Yep. Plays a land, says go. Nathaniel drops to four, draws a card. But this is this Faladar Guardian wishes it had a Planeswalker. But it's not gonna. Next turn, he gets to Nissa up a land, activate a hissing quagmire, make a huge attack. I don't see Nathaniel getting out of this one. Yeah, and he doesn't either. A handshake and Brennan to Candio. So far, so good for win number three. And I can't help but feel that Nathal Nathaniel's sideboarding was very flawed for this matchup. I just think that Spell Queller is just not good.